And I will share with you a story. Uh, I was born on the first day of Sukkot. So every year in Sukkot, okay, my wife said to me, why have you had to be born on the holiday? Can you, you know, it, just an ordinary day, not a holiday. We forget you, okay, it's, it's hard. And you know, we have a lot of things on our mind. And oh, if daddy had a birthday, okay, okay. So um, I'm the father at home, okay? And I'm buying the Arbat Aminim for me and for my boys. So it's a whole operation, okay? I have to choose, and you know, it's very hard. It's not easy. Even though they are grown up, I can say to them, you know, go buy it yourself. But you know, daddy, buy it for us. You understand, okay? So I'm buying the four, the Arbat Aminim, usually, in even a week from before Sukkot. I'm not waiting for the last minute. I'm buying, even in the middle of Aset Mechuvah. So I'll have time. I will be calm. I'm choosing that, and I bought them. But usually I'm buying also spears. Spears. That, you know, if something will happen, I will have spears. Because, you know, the hadas is, you know, maybe the leaves will fall. And, you know, there is a few kinds of etrogim. There is a Moroccanic etrog, there is te temani, there is a Ashkenazi, Chazonish. So I want to get uh, the, the most of the hag. So I'm buying few etrogim. But when I'm buying the few etrogim, in the last minute, I'm buying the four, about uh, the the good ones, a week or two weeks before, and the uh, spares I'm buying the last minute. Why is that? Because the last minute, if you know that, the 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 the, the cost of the the, the price is going very down, it's very down. So it's going down. I'm living in Kratzefer. In front of my house, it's the shuk of Rabat Aminim. Okay, it's the whole shuk of Rabat Aminim, and I can see from my house the 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 the, the, kilo, the, the amount of money and uh, that you need to pay. So I, I cannot go to the shuk at the last minute because who's selling there? All the shababni came from our uh, neighborhood and they know me. And if they will see me, you know, Fungia, he came at the last minute. <laughs> He's such a cheap person, you know, you know, at the last minute. They don't know that I bought already, okay? It's only spares. And I, I'm not coming with a sign, spares. Okay, it's only spares. So I, I, I cannot go by myself. So I'm selling my kids, my, my boys. Go and buy. Okay. It was, I think, two years from now. I, what? Two years ago. Two years ago, okay. Two years ago. I said that it was, uh, thank you for, uh, you can feel free to correct me. I'm here for that, tell you the truth. <laughs> so uh, let's begin from the beginning. So uh, I think two years ago, I said to my boys, please, you know, a few minutes before the shuk, how do you say shuk? Market is, is closing, it's at 12 o'clock in, in our city. So just go to buy from me a few things, a few at game. And then. So two years from now, uh, ago, they said to me, no, we're not going. And I was in shock. Okay. You said to me, no, Kina? okay, okay. Ask me something else, okay, no problem. But I'm supposed to be a good father, I know, I'm like their friends, and okay, I don't really need those spares. Well, I have enough things. So I said to me, to myself, okay, you know, suddenly free, no matter, I don't need that. But I came back from the, from, from a lecture, and it was like five minutes before 12. 12, the shook is closing. And I saw, you know, the policeman is taking off all the people there, and you know, the, the, you can buy five etrogim with one shekel, okay? I said to my, I'm, I'm going back to my home, take my kids with, in the ear, with, you know, go and buy to me etrogim, okay? So I ran home, and I want to get into my home, and it was locked. And I, I want to get in, and it's locked! I said, who's locking the door in the middle of the day? You know, open the door! You know, I'm really pressured because, you know, you will finish all the talk in there. You know, open the door! And nobody's opening. I so said, maybe they don't hear me. And I'm knocking strongly. My, my fingers is very hard. It's hurting. Open the door! And I said, okay, maybe they, they don't hear me. But I hear noises behind the door. I said to myself, okay, when they will open the door, I will hang them one by one next to the ceiling, okay? So open the door! And they're not opening. And I give ah, uh, ah, uh, and then they open the door. And I went inside you know, to educate them, okay? I was so furious. And then they all sing to me, Happy birthday to you. There are balloons and my friends there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
such embarrassing moment, okay? <laughs> Why I'm telling you that? Because <laughs> imagine that I will come back home. I'm running from the Shuka uh, Batam, and I see a sign on my door. Dear Daddy, we love you. This year, we decided to make to you a surprise party. Don't knock on the door, we won't open that. I, we didn't go to buy a uh, batamini for you because we went to Nebrak to buy to you a present that mommy said that we really want to. So uh, we, we came just a minute from now and I'm preparing all the, 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 uh, the surprise party. So just wait, call, you know, learn something, and we will open the door five minutes from now. Imagine I will see such a note on the door. I would think to myself, they're such nice skin kids, I love them. <laughs> they didn't forget me, they didn't forget me. Okay. But there was no a note like that, okay? There is never a note like that, okay? But remember, remember, even something bad happens, okay? At the end, you will discover for, for a good reason. Okay, maybe you won't see it immediately. Maybe you won't see it, you know, a, a year from now. Maybe after 120, you will see it. Thank you.